Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another uh, video of our uh, string series and in this video we are going to look at another problem and this problem is going to be really interesting I would say uh, because in uh, this uh, lecture uh, we would be like basically uh, dealing with two questions at once all right so the question is reverse words in a given string so for this you should be knowing about how to reverse a word if it is not given a, in a string all right and then we'll look at this problem okay so what i am saying is uh, suppose there is a letter called uh, give me a minute yeah cool okay so the word is suppose word all right you have to reverse this specific word what will i get d r o w yes all right so let's make a function let's call it void void reverse all right we will pass string like this we will going to pass I'm just writing for now and I'll be explaining. Just give me a few minutes. All right. So here I'm just simply going to return reverse. S comma low would be suppose zero and I would be S dot length minus one. All right. Now I am saying while low less than equal to high. We are going to swap s low and s high. All right. We're going to increase low plus plus and high minus minus. Okay. And let's have a custom string like world. Okay. Let's compile and run. Let's see. It should work. Okay, my bad. If I say this as um, what's this string? All right. Uh, and what I do here is I return s. Now let's try and run this. Should work now. Okay, we just have to do our this word only, right? Let's try and compile this thing. Okay, cool. Our output is also DRW, right? That so I leave this expected output. This is something else. We'll talk about this later. All right. So our expected output is DRW, right? Which we needed. So this is a very basic reverse function. We did it in array one also. I hope you remember it, but I'll do a dry run for this. So you can recall it. All right. So I'll just erase thing. Okay. So our low was here and our high was here. So what I say that we'll swap these two. So that will become D O R W. All right. And I'll increase low here and high here all right and i'll again swap so this becomes this my low becomes this and my high becomes this and what was my terminating condition it was while low is less than equal to high so i reached this condition and i'll just return this thing all right so that is drw okay cool now now what i have to uh, do here is okay we'll have this reverse function so for later and we are going to have a reverse word thing all right so let's now read the problem of this question so it's like given a string s reverse the string without reversing its individual words 
words are separated by dots all right so s is basically a sentence all right so suppose s is like i like this program very much all right and what would be the output of this much very program does like i so what we have to do exactly here is we have to reverse the string without reversing each word all right so what does that mean that our first word much would be our the last word much in our string would be the first and similarly very very program program this this like like and i i notice that no uh, word has been reversed individually all right so um like can you try to think about this solution okay if you're not able to then uh, let me tell you if you remember my array video of rotating an array uh, left by d places if you remember it what we do in that scenario is suppose let me clear out a bit yeah suppose my array is 1 2 3 4 5 and i have to reverse uh, and i have to shift it by 2 so what i do is that i that if i have to like shift by 2 so i'll reverse this part i'll reverse this part and then i'll reverse the whole right so this was this is the basic idea so same idea we are going to apply here so what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to uh reverse every word individually and then i i'm going to reverse the whole string all right okay i hope uh, that is like making sense to you okay and uh, well let's try let's have a dry run first so you can understand what i'm like trying to do here so um yeah suppose let's take a second string it's small and uh, would be easy to tell so let's have it it is like p q r dot m n o so what did i tell you is i'm going to reverse this thing first okay it is going to be R Q P. I'm to, going to reverse this part O N M. Now I am going to reverse this whole string as one. So it is going to be M N O dot P Q R. So this and this are equal, right? So this is what we have to do here. All right. So let's uh, try and uh, write our code. All right. So um, I'm going to have a variable called start and a variable called n, which is going to be s dot length. All right, cool. Now I'm going to run a loop for int i is equal to zero. I uh, let's call it n so it would be easy. n is equal to zero. n is equal to less than m. n plus plus. So this thing is going to uh, run for my uh, the whole string at first. Okay. Now I'm putting a condition that if at any point Okay, uh, if at any point if my s i is equal to uh, give me one minute let's have it void all right and not return it again you'll understand why i am doing it so let's be check okay if i say if s i is equal to my dot that means i have like traversed my first sentence first whole word okay now what i'll do here i'll simply reverse 
my I'm simply going to reverse my whole string from start to end right and now I'm going to put my start as end plus one okay that is basically the whole thing so what I'm going to do what I'm exactly doing here is see this this was a code suppose there is one more RSG right so I encountered my first dot and my start was here so I encountered my first dot here right so I'm just going to reverse this whole thing so this is going to be dot R and Q and P okay okay I hope that is uh, making sense here and then again I'm going to swap this thing also Similarly, I found the dot, I put the starting here and be here it was going to be O N M. Right. And now see, when I'll reach here, I'll just complete my sentence. There's no not going to be any dot here. So in the end I have to do one more reverse from start to n minus one. Okay and now i'm simply going to reverse the whole thing and f from zero to n minus one right so let's simply return s now see let's see if it works and i hope it works okay my bad it's a send right hmm. okay uh, I am not understanding all right all right all right all right yeah it should be here only inside the function let's now compile and run let's hope this works hmm. okay my output is not the one I'm expecting right hmm okay let me just remove my reverse function okay and I'm going to have the inbuilt reverse function I guess that will work If you know about the inbuilt reverse function, it's good. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you in a bit. Just give me a second. Let me see if there's some problem with the code or if there's some problem with the reverse part. All right. Okay. So this is going to be s dot begin plus start, and this is going to be till s dot end or you can write s dot begin plus end all right and we're going to be s dot begin we're going to be s dot end and we are simply returning s all right so let's check if there could be any more problem i hope so there should be no problem as such hmm. okay let's try and compile this code let's see if this works okay i'm getting these ah i have bad oh that is really a very silly mistake very sorry for that guys that was really a silly mistake so our, our uh, 
previous reverse function would also have worked right so if like if you're comfortable with that reverse function you can use that otherwise let me tell you what i'm doing here so what happens in reverse function exactly is uh, this is an inbuilt reverse function used for s uh, c++ stl so string as you know is a c++ standard template library so in that we uh, put reverse and okay let me code it like this we put reverse it is start end that means from where do you have to start and from where do you have to end so that means like if i am given a string wrd i am to start the reversal from w and end it till uh, end like d all right so that's what we did here it is beginning from s dot begin plus start all right and it is ending as plus begin dot plus end and this too we did and this is also the same thing. all right so let's try and submit it let's hope it works oh yeah it's okay cool so guys yeah this was the reverse word in our given string and um, in this lecture you learned about two problems how to reverse a word uh, individually and how to reverse a whole sentence all right and i guess you learned something important today and that was it for this video uh, more theories more concepts coming in uh, in the upcoming videos so stay tuned and thank you for watching see you later